In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And, with your and to all of you who are joining us, the Lord be with you also. Welcome to this Mass at Queen of the Apostles Parish here in Toma. As we gather to celebrate the third Sunday in Advent, let us prepare ourselves by calling to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Cry out with joy and gladness, for among you is the great and holy one of Israel.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The crowds asked John the Baptist, What should we do? He said to them in reply, Whoever has two cloaks should share with the person who has none. Whoever has food should do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized, and they said to him, Teacher, what should we do? He answered them, Stop collecting more than what is prescribed. Soldiers also asked him, And what is it that we should do? He told them, Do not practice extortion. Do not falsely accuse anyone and be satisfied with your wages. Now the people were filled with expectation, and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Exhorting them in many other ways, he preached good news to the people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So often, when we want to follow the Lord Jesus, we think that what we're being asked to do is something really extraordinary, something that is really hard and difficult, and it's not really worth it if it's not hard and difficult. Yet in our gospel today, we hear multiple people asking John the Baptist about what should we do? And surprisingly, it's very common and very ordinary things. He says, for example, whoever has two cloaks, he doesn't say give both away. He says just give one away to the person who has none. When the tax collectors came and they asked, what should we do? He didn't say stop being a tax collector. He said, stop collecting more than what you are prescribed to charge. Sometimes the ordinary becomes the extraordinary.
sometimes the ordinary is the real path to following Jesus. We don't have to go out of our way. Just remember who you are and do it well. You don't need to spend six hours praying, but perhaps 30 minutes twice a day is good. Always remember who you are. Ask the Lord to help you to know what it is that he's asking of you. And if he's asking something extraordinary, ask someone else what they think. Because maybe the Lord is just asking you to do the ordinary things, like Mother Teresa used to say, with extraordinary love. Let us stand as we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father of the Lord. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was the incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became a man. For our sake he was crucified by the conscious Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and arose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will come in the land. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the light of the world to come. Amen. And now let us place our prayers before our God this day. For those who do not believe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For good weather and the fruits of the earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have gone before us in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of our diocese, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we thank you for the gifts that you bestow upon us each and every day of our lives. Help us to be aware of those gifts and to share what you have given to us with those around us. For we ask you to hear all of these prayers in the name of your Son, Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit, for you are God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And so at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart, and unite myself to you completely. 
Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us stand to pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hello everybody, Bishop Callahan here. Each and every week we have the opportunity to share the message of Jesus Christ with you, especially for those of you who are homebound and may be sick at this particular time. We share the blessings of Jesus through the Eucharist, and we thank you for your support of this ministry. May God continue to reward you and bring you blessings, health, and happiness for this new year and for all the days of your life.